This is a tutorial for Illustrator CS5 as well as CS4. It could be used on a PC or Mac. Right, it's to create gradient, use gradients and create weird and wonderful colors. So I'm just going to select a path, just a basic path, rectangle tool. I'm just going to fill it with the, so I just click on the swatch here. So you can just see the gradient. Here's the gradient over here. Just move the stops over here. Now you've got one and two stops. I'm going to add about five, maybe ten stops in between. So just there won't be any change, particularly to the gradients. I'm just going to click on those. Right. So that's just added a number of stops just by simply clicking along the the line. Right. Now I'm just going to go to the color guide and edit or apply colors. You can find the color guide in the window menu, so the color guide there. Right, so you've got the color guide, edit, apply. So as soon as you do that, you'll see a change to the gradient. So you've just got the, all the colors that are used there will suddenly be added to the stops in the gradient. Obviously you can't see them there, the preview isn't updated at that point. So basically you can just actually click randomly change color order. This is another way, just quickly go through millions of different color combinations. Just click that. Also, you can use the randomly change saturation brightness. So you can change the colors even more, or brightness. Right. And also, of course, you can use different harmony rules. So you, obviously all greens there. So you can just go through those. Just change that. Of course, you can then pick a different table. So I'm just going to use pop art, let's pick pop art, you can use anything else, right. just go down there, say pick that one, high contrast, click through those, so you can go through those, random change, again okay, saturation, now you created a quite a colourful design from basically just a selection of stops, right click that, now click gradient tool again, just going to move the gradient over there. Right now, I'm going to duplicate the path. Now, you could actually use use the appearances palette. That's another way of doing it. But I'm just going to basically combine combine three different paths. But you could actually do this equivalent in the fill. And then once you've done that, you could actually create a star from that. Maybe I'll quickly demonstrate that. Probably be better than the path. But I'm just going to show the path. So I'm just going to duplicate that. And I'm just going to again change the direction and the angle. And I'm just going to change the transparency so you can actually see the underlying path difference. So you create a different design there. Now go to the color guide again and edit or apply colors. And now you can click randomly change color order. And again, you can see just by clicking that, you can go through thousands of different color designs. In seconds, wow, or maybe not in seconds, but certainly fairly quickly. Of course, change the saturation brightness again. Of course, you can use different uh, um, types, and you also use the different blending modes. You don't have to use different. I mean, you could use exclusion or whatever, any of the other ones. Different combinations. Of course, you can also have three or four or five. Obviously, the more you have, the slower it might get actually to quickly do the changes. But uh, you can certainly go through them and also the design might get more and more weird so right click OK at that point so I'm just going to just quickly show you so I'm just going to select another path and just put that there and change the direction of the gradient so there you it creates a very complicated design so I'm just going to go through that again just quickly show you the design and of course you can go through different so you don't have to use pop up you could use kid stuff so and you'll have a different set of harmony rules there so there is another design so randomly so you just click through those and explore the different possible designs there of course the gradients uh, vectors so you can uh, use them for massive size files and designs you can export them to Photoshop and maybe use them as a texture or a background or an overlay or a pattern even so I'm just going to next thing I'm going to do I'm just going to quickly show you what I was talking about on the appearances so I'm just going to select that so there's the actual 
basic design. Now I'm just going to go to Appearance. The Appearance palette can be found in the Windows. Appearance. And then I'm going to just duplicate that. Duplicate item. So I've just created a duplicate. Then click on the gradient tool again. And I'm just going to create that. Now I want to change the transparency for that one. So difference. So you can actually see the difference. So both of the designs come through. And uh, we'll select those. And I'm just going to go to the color guide again. And then let's go down to another one and click the randomly change color order. Again, I'm going to use a slightly different uh, color set, so maybe not good stuff, but say nature, foliage. Just create that. Click there. Go down to that green. Click there. Go through them. Click different designs. Of course, once you say OK there, you can actually, once you're outside, you can actually change the uh, direction again of the gradient. So I'm just going to just quickly do that, just move it to different places so you can get see different designs. Even then you can see different color designs. Of course you can change the type as well. And also with the set difference, but you can actually just change it to darken, multiply, exclusion, and so on and so on. So there's many different combinations. Like I say, you can create quickly create uh, many different uh, designs, color designs, explore many different colors, effects, just by basically just adding a number of stops in the gradient. So uh, you found the tutorial of interest. Thank you much.